and good to have profiles. You know, so we're excited about the Academy and excited about what you're learning. And again, all over the world. I mean, people again are just can't wait to get their hands each week. They're like, okay, you know, when's the video going to be posted? And again, thanks for, you know, Amy for coming and doing that for us. It makes a big difference to the world. I mean, the, what you're, I know he's behind the camera, but what he's planting the seeds of just his gifts, right? He has to load that camera up every week, but it's going all over the world and it's infecting businesses for the good. And it's changing lives because people are hearing these testimonies and they're watching this product demonstration and they're literally on fire out there, you know, so we can give away the gifts. So with that being said, what we're going to do now is now we're going to have um, some training on um, the wellness event. How many of you guys have had wellness event? Raise your hand. I want to see who are. Wow, lots of people. That's exciting. And who actually, um, from last week's event training on the shop, sip, and save, teaching people how to transfer their spinning to earning, how to walk through an event like that, because again, you don't know what you don't know, and as you're taught these things, then there's little aha moments that go off that you're like, oh my gosh, you know? And then that we get to do it together, right? It's exciting. So who have, who has had um, the Shop, Sip, and Save event last week? Did anybody have one? Emily McKenzie, also. Okay, so Emily back there. And um, my girls are in here. Emily, Emily and Mackenzie. Of course, y'all know Mackenzie. My other is Emily. Emily, why don't you stand up and take away? She's our future business owner here. They're always giving me a hard time. I'm like, you did not do that shop, sip, and save event. What you saying, girl? She's trying to get some more tickets, right? <laughs> but you know what's crazy is that we are. We're training the younger generation to be entrepreneurs. I love that, you know, and so everybody's watching you, they're watching your business, what am I doing back here? And, um, <laughs> did I go the wrong way? Okay, so when you came in, you know, everybody should have received a packet. You know, um, I, I kind of had these printed off for you because I wanted you to see them. They are downloadable on the, um, you know, face or the Facebook page for our Leadership Academy team. But, you know, I definitely recommend that you get one in black and white, especially because during the training tonight, I'm going to say, say what's in blue and do what's in black, right? And so if you're reading along this, you might be a little confused when it gets to the say what's in blue part because it's in black and white, right? Just kidding, but just saying. You want to make sure, I just wanted you to have something to follow along with because I know sometimes the screen is kind of hard to see. Plus online, they can also follow along and print out the information. But I kind of want to, um, you know, just take a second and tell you of a testimony of a wellness and why we want to do these things. So guests in the house, you know, uh, what we do is we get together and we introduce people to things like our wellness products. Because we are an internet brokerage company, you know, we want to make sure that people understand our products, you know. And so what we do is we just gather people in small groups and we invite them and we just educate them. Everybody say educate. And so sometimes, though, it can be a little scary if we we don't know what to do. So then we don't do it, right? Because then fear sets in. And then we never feel like we're going to get ahead in that area. But the more that we work that muscle out of whatever event that we're doing, we become better and better and better. We say, I'm getting better. You know, teaching people how to do skincare events, all these events really lead to so many great things, right? Just like this last week, you know, um, I don't know, we just did a video where Samantha was like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do 30 phases in 30 days and uh, just practice. And she did 14 custom blends and one appointment to, to um, it was actually a surgical center. She went in and she sat up and she did these custom blends. And she had 14 custom blends in just like one, you know, half of a whatever, couple hours or whatever it was. So 30 phases in 30 days, she did half of that. And then she was like adding up the sales. It was over $600 in sales. But guess how much VV that was? So guess in the house, VV is points that are attached that we get paid a residual income off of every week on the, the um, you know, work that we all do together. So Samantha created over 500 BV to share with her team. That was just 
Rose in a couple hours. And what's greatest part is you're never by yourself. 
right? So we never, you never have to be, do this by yourself. I know in other businesses it's like, you know, good luck. <laughs> you know, matter of fact, somebody told me, I think it was yesterday, that they partnered with the company, it was actually this morning, um, and they said, listen, we partnered with this company and I have that experience because they just gave me a video and said, good luck. <laughs> Here's what you do. And that was their training. And she's like, what do you mean you don't have any more training than this? And so she was like, oh, I couldn't do that. But look at this, you have the academy, you have online training, you have systems to follow. Everybody say, I can be a success. I can be a success. So what's crazy, even Paul, he came down, he was at one of our events, and we did a Moda's event. Only guy in the house. And he just stood there and he watched. But he watched as we sold $1,200 in product that night. And he was like, what the heck? He's like, where can we do this again? You know, because the product is going to sell itself. My point is, is you just have to put yourself out there. So this wellness event is the easiest to do because literally you're, we're going to show you tonight. We're going to give you a, a, and through this, if you can read it, you can achieve it. Okay. So, um, but I, but I want you guys to understand this is never going to happen if it's not in your books. It's never going to happen. So what you want to do with your team is you want to gather together and say, let's put a wellness event on our book. Let's put a motive event on our book. Let's put a shop sip and save event on our book. I know Dr. Ed just did a wellness just like this and just literally sold over $1,400 in products. And actually, it wasn't him. It was one of his business partners that actually didn't have Dr. I mean, Dr. Ed could probably sell thousands and thousands of dollars in products just from his knowledge. But what's great is if they printed this out, they did it. It was $1,400 worth of sales just from duplication, just from reading this, being real, push and play. You know, you don't have to be the expert, but you can literally just follow the system. I can follow the system. I can follow the system. All right, so let's talk about this. Everybody should have your, um, your, your handouts. The first uh, page you're gonna see is a table of contents. Just like a book or anything else, it's actually giving you the dialogue of what you're gonna follow for success. And, you know, if you look at this, basically it's, I, I, I just sat and read this one day. Jackie Velasco actually created this, and I sat down and I thought, okay, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna read it out. I actually created my own binder here. And, um, and I just put the documents inside based on how I use them. So, and they're all in color, right? And um, so basically, this table of contents is giving you the outline, right? You're gonna have the outline, the names list form, it's telling you what's gonna be in there and where to find it and whatnot. So when you turn the page, um, when you're looking at this, you know, you have the, the outline, but then now you have um, your recipe outline. So you have your table of contents, whatever, and then your recipe outline. So on your recipe outline, you are going to uh, see there, hold on one second, that this is also kind of giving you now more of a breakdown of what to do um, that the outline was showing you. So it'll show you step one, set up. What are you gonna do there? You're gonna have name tags and guest registration form. It's giving you that you wanna have set up a folder and tells you what to put inside that folder. So when somebody walks in, you know, and we're gonna get to that, you know, you're gonna hand them that folder with that information in there. It's so detailed. It's literally, you cannot fail. That was it, I cannot fail. And so even, you know, it, you can be brand new today and do this and be successful. So you're gonna have your setup, you're gonna have what you do in your social time, the first 20 to 30 minutes, what to do there, right? And then you're going to begin. It tells you two minutes when you get started. It's gonna give you the, give a host to say, um, thank the guest. So you're gonna have the host who's holding the event, right? Thank the people for coming. Right? And so they're going to just thank them for coming, and then they're going to turn it over to you. Um, or, like right there, it says they can also do a two minute introductory uh, of the company commercial, or the, I mean, sorry, their two minute commercial. So the guest is going to tell the, or the hostess is going to tell the guest why they're there. You know, hey, listen, I really wanted you to learn about this wellness information because this did this for me. I'm really excited. Maybe they're a business partner. So they might say, listen, you know, I'm so excited. I'm going to challenge and thank you all guys for being here. 
tonight because I really think that you're going to learn a lot about this patent product that you can't get anywhere else. And so I really just am excited for you guys to get education on this. And maybe you know someone. If it's not for you tonight, no big deal. But you might lead us to the right people. Remember, we're saying the same thing, but we're really appreciating the people that are there at these events. Um, okay, so what is Market America? This is where you're going to have a five-minute, um, and you're going to decide whether you want to push play on a video. When you go to Go Now Resources, again, all this is printable um, off of there, and also on Go Now Resources, the actual video links, um, you can actually grab off of there, where you can just play a two-minute video on a little clip on the company, or you can actually take and do it yourself. You know, you can just give a short little two-minute blurb on the company, write down some facts. It's totally up to you because sometimes you'll get to a house and maybe their internet's not working. So you gotta have to take the legwork to find out from your host or the person that you're at the home, how is your internet set up? Because you wanna make sure if you can push play on the video or are you gonna have to download that video and make sure that you can do it from your computer that way so that it's not skipping and you know, then that makes a mess and creates think gap, gaps everywhere. So that's what you're gonna do on step four. Step five, you're gonna have guests and product testimonials. And so where it looks like if, if my guests are there, I'm gonna find out who they are. You know, the number one thing we wanna do is never forget that part. I, I did an event one time and you know, turned it over and uh, they were, you know, person B did the event, I'm just there evaluating. And the one thing they forgot to do was the step. And, and they, at the end, they said, well, how did I do? And I said, well, you did great. You know, I said, the one thing that I would definitely change is to, or add is make sure you always find out about who's in the room. You know, go around. Make sure you say, okay, tell me who you are. Tell me your name. Um, and tell me, you know, how you know, you know, Wendy. You know, and, and get to know them. People want to hear themselves talk. And when you're at an event, it's all about building relationships. Remember, we're the brand building the relationships, and that will bring the result. I mean, time and time again at events, if you don't take that step because you've got the dollar signs in your eyes and you're trying to sell them something, they're gonna they're gonna sense that, you know. And then you're not being authentic, right? Nobody wants to be sold; they want to be educated, right? We're gonna buy anyway, but why would they buy from you? Because you're caring about them. I care about what's going on in their health, you know, and just. Listening to Holly talk to me about Alicia, Alicia, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, Alicia needs this product. You know, I, what can I do to get it to her? How can I get it to her fast enough? Listen, I give it to her for free. Sometimes you've got to make that investment to get that return. And look at where she's at today. Why? Because I'm confident in the product. If she never comes back to it, it's okay. If people don't buy, it's okay. So you've got to not worry about the end result of the money. And you got to think about, what is the end result of this relationship between me and Cindy? Where is this going to go? Because she is more valuable to me than a seller product. And when you can put that out there and you can make people know, hey, listen, Cindy, you might not, you know, find anything tonight that works for you. That's okay. You take it away from them because at the end of the day, they're going to appreciate that, wouldn't you? So when you're meeting the guest, you're listening. We're so quick to get through this stuff, you know, that we don't really pay attention to who's in the room or to the needs that they have. So at any event, whether it's a wellness or a skincare event, make sure that you're making people know that they're important. That is the bottom line to anything that we're doing. Would you guys agree with that? Okay, so when you're looking at this, you're going to, um, you know, ask the guests about who they are. And, you know, then what's going to happen is, you know, on, on step six, you're going to give out the health survey. And so um, the host directs the guest to complete the health survey form and reiterate the free gift at the end of the meeting. Um, and so basically what that looks like is, um, you know, whenever they fill out the health survey form, you're letting everybody know, listen, take out that health survey form out of the folder you just got, fill it out at the end, bring it to the checkout station. Because at the checkout station, you're going to get a gift for being here tonight. So even if you don't want to buy anything, no problem. Just bring this form to the person at the checkout station so they can make sure to give you your gift. Right? Right away, you take out an eerie, an eerie feeling of, you know what, like, don't need to buy something or whatever. They're going to that, that checkout station because they want to pick up their free gifts and you're collecting their information and you might even say to them, 
Listen, at the close, when you're like, hey, did you have fun? Great. Okay, what did you want to get started with? And then they're able to say, you know what? I, I just can't, you know, right now, afford it, no problem. Great. You know, it's okay. Here, let me go ahead and get your information, you know, or take your, your health survey back from you, and let me give you your free gift. And listen, not only that, we're going to make sure that you um, get all the information that we get signed up as a free customer with shop.com, because that in itself is a whole gift. And we'll make sure that Wendy gets back with you on exactly how to make that work. But you're at that checkout station and you're doing what? You're building a relationship. I'm wanting Quimby to know whether she buys anything or not. You know, listen, it's okay. I want to make sure I'm, I'm giving back to her just for her time, right? But then also with these health surveys, you guys, it's a great opportunity to get to the next event, right? You can say, hey, you know what? Thank you so much for giving me your health survey. Listen, um, Wendy's goal is that she don't have to go and meet strangers. She just find it, you know, or would it be something that you would be willing to do something like this at your home for Wendy? Because she's working on a challenge at 30 faces in 30 days. And if they say no, what do we say? Great, no worries. You know, okay. But you know what? People, if you ask them, they're willing to help you. Just like with uh, Sam's event when we went to do that. You know, so many people were like, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll be a face. Matter of fact, we want to do that. You know, but it's all about your approach. It's all about your approach. And so you're going, to, you're going to go through the guide here. You're going to play the health and wellness video. And I'm going to get into this more in detail in a minute. I'm just kind of going over the outline. Um, you're going to push play on the health and wellness video. And during the health and wellness video, you know, quietly but, you know, efficiently, we're walking around and we're giving out samples of the products that they're talking about. So the daily essentials and the aloe, we're sampling those products for people to take. So they realize, wow, this is pretty good stuff. You know, so we'll go around, we'll give them a sample, we'll quietly and just, you know, let them finish the video. It's a 29 minute video. Um, and so, you know, they're watching the video, and trust me, when they watch this well health and wellness video, they're shocked. They're like, if you've not watched it, you need to watch it. Because they're literally sitting there going, oh my gosh, I'll never eat another chicken nugget as long as I live. I mean, they are. And then at the end, it's real funny because you're like, okay, who wants to eat chicken nuggets now or hot dogs? Nobody. Everybody is really free from ever eating a hot dog ever again in their life, right? Because it just hits you that, well, we don't even realize that our food is playing a huge, um, you know, role in the deterioration of our health. Just like she was talking about with digestive health. I mean, most people just don't know what they don't know, so we just walk on doing what we do, yet we find ourselves have cancer. Then we find ourselves in a lot of issues that now we're in, you know, the hospital and we're, we're taking on medications and we're doing all these things, and yet we have the answer. But if you don't do wellnesses, you're never going to be able to show people that you got the cookie, like JR would say, right? So it's important to adopt the mindset that you can walk through this outline and say, okay, you know, person by person, getting people in, informed and educated on why they need to be taking a look at isotonics. Because you have a patent product that nobody else has. So think about all the people that you come in contact with that you can invite to a private wellness, you know, and then let them know, listen, why don't you bring somebody? You're going to get some extra tickets, and we're going to talk about tickets in a minute. But anyway, so they like to have fun, but, you know, when you push play on the video, to me, once you sit back, the video does all the work. It takes all the work out of it, you know, and so, um, again, then step eight, you're going to answer any questions, you're going to collect the surveys, um, and then what you're going to do is take orders, which we're going to talk about, and then um, give them the next step information. So what I want to show you guys is the app. I don't know why. I called Jackie. I was like, Jackie, how come there's so many outlines to the outline? <laughs> you know? But I don't know. She said, because it's personality brandy. I'm like, okay. So what I've done with my uh, this portion is I've detached it. And literally, when you're presenting the information, you actually use this outline because it says, do what's written in black. Everybody say, do what's written in black. Do what's written in black. Say, what's written in blue. say what's written in blue. This is the part I said, you might be a little confused of what was written in blue, because I did it in black and white copies. And uh, only because I think it was gonna cost me like 500 bucks to do the, you know, sorry guys, love y'all, but God, you gotta print that on your own. <laughs> Just kidding. But no, I mean, what's crazy about this, guys, is literally, I had somebody that had just started the business, and I said, okay, look, she wanted to do a wellness, and I said, okay, but she wanted to do it. And I was like, all right, I'm not gonna, you know, knock you, just do it. And so I said, all she's gonna do is take this outline and 
literally read. It's just like, okay. So we, we went over the steps on how we needed to get started, the, you know, what was going to play the part. Listen, you're the coach, right? Everybody in here is a coach to their, to their team, to, um, for yourself. And the goal is, is to do the steps to, to, win, to win the game. Right, to, which is building the relationships that are going to actually create momentum in your business because people are actually going to want to be involved with you and your product because they're having success with it. Right. So when you have this recipe outline, I always take this, and of course, again, it's in color, but I staple the next three um, pieces together. So it might be number on there three, four, and five. Is it number three, four, five on there for your pages? Yep. So pages three, four, and five, you're going to take and you're going to staple. So now at the event, what's happened, you guys, is say that, you know, right here it says pre-event, right? So let's just say Cindy told me event and, um, you know, we've invited Kumbi to come and Beverly to come and Robert's going to be there. And so pre-event, what do we want to do? This is the true guide that you follow. A1, we want to decide on a date. Well, we've already established you got to get your date book out to do that. You know, the best time is right after 6 o'clock. Why is that? Because people that get off work don't want to wait around until 7 because then they're thinking, I'm going to go home, and then when they get home, the, the kids need them, and then they take their shoes off, and so now they really don't want to get back out. Right? So if you do it about 6 o'clock, they can come straight from work. Right? So it's easier for people to have that time frame. So I always recommend 6 o'clock, but you're not going to start until actually 6.30 because we're going to have the social time in here. But then you're going to mail an invitation or a survey. So I want to um, just say that this is the best way to help coach people. This survey is the best. And it's in there. But y'all, I use this all the time to even help my business partners think of names. And here's how I do it. Right? If I'm going to have a bet, tell me your name. Mandy, oh, look at the name. Tell me your name. Mary Lynn. Okay. So, um, you know, I'm just going to say, Mandy has decided she is going to host an event for me. And Mandy's like, okay, well, I don't know who I'm going to invite. I'm like, no problem, Mandy, let me help you with this. I simply get my invitation, and I help Mandy. I say, okay, Mandy, here's what we're going to do. Why don't you write down everybody you know that needs energy? Right? And even with our business partners, whatever, we can do this to help really think of people that fall into these gaps to get a wellness on the books. And to think about who do we want to invite. So maybe think write down people who you know that needs energy. Now maybe write down the first people that come to your mind that want to lose weight. Then maybe I want you to write down somebody that you know that has joint problems. Okay? Now blood sugar maintenance. Maybe you know somebody with blood sugar issues. Um, diabetes. Right? Um, what about carpal tunnel? Arthritis? Or heart health? I'm giving Mandy right off of this health and wellness form ideas. Because see, what happens is, is we forget, or we get nervous, or we think I don't know anyone, but this truly is a great gauge. And you know what, it's gonna be sincere when Mandy picks up the phone and tells, tell me somebody right now, Mandy right now, that you know, you've heard the digestive health. Like maybe can you name one person that you know struggles with acid reflux, ulcers, IBS, Crohn's, colitis, or any kind of digestive health. Do you know somebody right now on top of your head? What's their name? Lori. Okay, Lori. So maybe what you're going to do is you're going to simply call Lori up and you're going to say, Lori, I'm so excited. I thought of you. I am doing a private wellness. Me and my friend Brandy, we're going to be working together. And she told me to, to invite the people that I know struggled with this. And I thought of you instantly. I'm going to put an invitation in with you and I hope you can come because it's going to be a lot of fun. Do you see that? So right away, is that true for Mandy? Yes, she knows we're struggling with that. Is that true for us? Does that make it feel good? Do we feel like we're selling something? No, because this woman needs us, does she not? Lori, yes. <laughs> so Mandy is gonna be a lot easier job to get to the people that she knows because it's a real thing. We're not selling Lori. We're talking about, listen Lori, we know that you struggle with this. Does that make sense, you guys? So when you think about who can I invite to these wellnesses, or who can I help my people think about that they can really, you know, we want to change the world, right? Dr. Ed says all the time that he has his patients come in one by one by one by one. But now because of Mark in America, he gets to infect a whole bunch of people at one time. You know, and that's a huge thing. So if we can think about the impact that we have, you know, that can literally put product in someone's hands, that's a really big deal for us. So whenever, but, but it's the how to do that. Right? It's the how do I really get to that to make it work for me? So, I mean, maybe you're not even in the business, right? But, I mean, could you see how that's genuine? 
If you were to be taught this, I mean, if you started this business tomorrow and we taught you how to do that, would that feel comfortable to you? Yeah. And you know what? That's what you got to think about. You have to posture yourself and understand that the more I understand someone like Wendy who has had fibromyalgia and IBS, you know, could be, oh my gosh, I thought of you. Listen, I wrote your name down. Is there any way that you can make it to this wellness? I'm having a small private event and man, I really think that you should come just check this out. I don't know if it's for you or not. You know, but I know that there's going to be a great information. We're going to have a lot of fun and prizes. And shoot, I sure would exci be excited if you could come. You know, because that is a genuine invitation. Right? And I think most of us get hung up on what if. Or what are they going to think? Right? Or, oh my gosh, I don't even know. I mean, I have literally had people tell me, oh, well, they all said no. I'm like, everybody said no to come to your event. I'm like, well, who did you, you know, let's talk about that. Well, the truth was that she never even called anybody. They, I said, they all said no to your head. Like, you told yourself no. But the truth was, she was too scared to pick up the phone. Because that 10,000 pound phone is a big deal. Because we automatically prejudge that they're going to tell us no, so we never get started. Right? So that's what we got to understand. You got to take a step out of our comfort zone and understand people like Alicia are out there. People like Quimby are out there. People like myself are out there. People like you who have a testimony. Raise your hand if you have a testimony. And I saw the products. Look at this. Yes, I would keep your hand up. Can y'all please just look around real quick? I think you guys are excited. Y'all should come to a wellness village. She needs to buy a to a wellness, right? Because you don't know what you don't know. Yet if we're so scared, we're never going to get anywhere. You will never get anywhere, 100% guaranteed, if you don't ask. And what's great is this business is so amazing because we have something for everybody. And so it doesn't matter if, as long as you can sit here and read all these steps or whatever, you can get together and figure it out. But the truth is, it really boils down to will you do it or not? You know, the truth is, is the guest list to me is the hardest part. Because we have to pick up the phone and take action. And we have to get out of our own way. And we have to ask. Right? And, I mean, if you would hear the testimonies, you would be finding the people. Oh, my gosh. Who do you know? Who do you know that has that? You're calling. You're asking. Oh, my gosh, Paul. Listen. Hey, do you have a second? Um, listen, I'm calling. Uh, do you know anybody with pain and inflammation, like headaches, migraines, back pain? or gout, you know, you start asking people. If you run out of people or you're getting no's, pick up the phone and say, who do you know? Who do you know? Listen, because it works if you do, okay? And so we, it's exciting when you start and like giving out those packets and everything, start getting people's testimonies back and it starts making a difference. I promise it'll light a fire on you that never ever stops because you want to actually impact lives. So when you're doing this wellness, you know, you're standing up there, you figure the day, you've gotten the invitation out. Doesn't this help? This invitation makes it so easy. Right? Would you guys agree with that? Are you guys awake? Yeah. Right? So, um, and then you do right here. Then you have to call. Everybody say, have to call. And I have to call again. Because you have to follow up. We're literally putting all these steps and we're saying, okay, you're going to strengthen the skill, right? And you're going to follow up. I'm going to follow up with Mimi. I'm going to say, Mimi, listen, let's call Lauren and make sure she's, we put her down on the VIP guest list. She said she's going to attend, right? Now let's add, let's just follow up again and let's let her know, listen, we're going to get started directly on time and we're going to have some fun prizes and drawings and can we make sure that she's going to be there because we want to make sure to, to get her gift ready. When you're calling Lauren, she's like, but you want me a gift, right? <laughs> then Lauren is probably going to be there because Lauren wants to pick up her gift. Would you? Yes. Because we all are tuned into one channel. W-I-I-F-M. What's in it for me? Think about that. Good, bad, and ugly, we all will do something for free. Or a free gift. We will. I mean, we women are really ridiculous. Right? The, the free gift for $40 or more, we're, we're looking. You know? Come on. You guys know that, right? Because that's just the way we're wired. So we, we don't need to be business owners that don't think like business owners. We need to be like creative the way everybody's spending money. Everybody's doing that anyway. So take that, adopt that into your business and use it because it works, right? And so you don't have to feel bad about it. It's not pushy. You know, people appreciate when you're like, hey, thank you for spending my time. I'll, I'll come and, and see what you got going on. And thank you for a free gift. I mean, would you guys agree with that? Yeah. You know, so you just have to do it. So, you know, um, right here it says senior business partner calls top 10. So I know you have been invited, but I wanted to.
to introduce myself. I'm Brady Holden. I want to see if you have any specific questions. So here's another follow-up, right? So Mandy, let them know that she's sending the invitation. She's making sure that they're going to be there. But now what I'm going to do as the coach, I'm going to say, Mandy, why don't you give me your guest list of the 10 people that you have coming or the list of people that you have coming. Now as the business owner, I'm going to make the phone calls. Why? Because if I'm going to the event and I'm going to pay a babysitter, I'm going to make sure that I am going to help Mandy be successful. She's never going to want to do what I do if I don't help her be successful, right? So in, in just the idea of me taking that names list and doing what it says right here, that you read off of there, hey, this is pretty holy, you don't even know me yet. Mary Ann? Mary Lynn. Mary Lynn. Mary Lynn, you don't even know me yet. But I'm so excited because uh, Mandy has me down on her VIP guest list to attend our event on Saturday. And I'm super excited. I just want to make sure that you knew um, that I'm really looking forward to meeting you and that we're going to be starting promptly. So I'm, we're going to be giving out some tickets and doing some fun things. I'm sure Mandy mentioned it to you, but I can't wait to see you there. Okay? And at this point is where I even go the extra mile and say, listen, Mary, listen, if you have somebody that you want to bring with you, because I know we're like women, we don't even like to go to the bathroom for ourselves. Especially if you're, I mean, obviously you're not going to say that to a man. Right? But the truth is, is that I'll open up an opportunity, especially at a wellness, to get somebody else there. Because, it's, it, you know, it's one person in the room, 10 people in the room, 20 people in the room. It doesn't matter. You know, motives is a little different because you want to be selective because there's a lot of different work that goes involved in that type of event, which we'll talk about next week. But what's great is that with the wellness, it's easy because you're just pushing play on a video. And that is definitely something, you know, that you, you guys, you know what I mean, that, um, that, you know, you want to keep in mind, right? Is that, you know, offer them an opportunity for them to invite someone to come with them. You know, because then you just up the ante if somebody cancels. Now, you know, Mary might have somebody come with them. Mary Lynn. Mary Lynn. Listen, Mary, I'm sorry. But anyway, okay, so now what you can do, because video comes from the web, like I said before, it's a good idea to burn a copy, um, so that makes sure your connection's good. You want to check that, cover that. Um, if you can't come, that's great. We can, um, we can get together. So that's when, let's just say Mandy's guest list, maybe she's like, well, I have three people that can't come. Well, there's a script even down here that talks about if they can't come. Look, if you look down at the bottom of page three, it says, I really did want you to be there at the special presentation, but maybe this is better. The two of us can get together and I can show you firsthand the information. You know, what's on your schedule this week? You know, what would work better for you? Afternoon? Evening? You know, don't, don't assume because they didn't come, they didn't want to come. Don't we do that? They're like, oh, they didn't want to come. You know, automatically we have to change our brain because maybe they just couldn't come. You know, and so you have to automatically give everybody the benefit of the doubt. Even though Cindy said she couldn't come, doesn't mean that I'm going to be like, well, she just didn't like me. You know, if she couldn't make it to me in these events, there's probably a reason why. Maybe she really didn't want to come. But you know what? I'm going to give her the opportunity to give her the benefit of the doubt. And you don't have to reinvent the wheel. It's right here on the bottom of page three, how to get through that process. Right? These scripts on reviewing names lists with the distributor and calling back those who could not come. Just look at that. The people who couldn't come, you're reviewing the names list. Now you have a script to go back and work together with this, with your group to talk about how to get through these things. Because you don't want to leave people out just because they didn't show up. Because there could have been a reason, like I said. Or the script for the customers that had purchased. You know, look at that. Hey, uh, Mandy, I just want to follow up with you regarding your new healthcare products. You know, have you started taking them? You know, when you make a sale, this is key that you follow up. I want to know. I want to know how the products are working. Because remember, what are we doing? We're building a relationship. If you sell a product, I don't care what product it is, you want to make sure to put it in your calendar for the next day or two to make sure in the next 24 to 48 hours you're following up with that customer. Hey, Brittany, how's it going? Do you like the product? Great. You know, a lot of times Brittany may have gotten busy and she hadn't started taking them yet. So, or they could be like my mom and gotten the um, OPC3 and because I was busy or didn't think about it because I was new, she took the whole cap, <laughs> right? And we're like, oh my gosh, and Mandy, by the way, you guys, we're like, oh, it's a cap. Well, when you're saying it's a cap, they're thinking it's this cap, right? You gotta let people know my mom took a whole cap 
listen. You know, people don't know, they don't know. We have to assume the role of the coach and the mentor and making sure good customer service takes place at this thing, you know, because that way they can feel educated and confident about the products that they're taking. Right? So that's a true story. And I have done everything wrong. I have done it all wrong, you know. So just know that you're going to mess up, but you're going to be able to collect stories and put them in your tool belts to help your team not do that same thing. Like, I make sure to tell everybody about that story because, you know, that was, I had no idea anybody would do that. <laughs> My mom, really. So anyway, so but yet you have the guide. You have this. As you're going through there, you know, you're looking at what to do with the pre-event, you know, the kit highlights, which we're going to talk about, um, you know, the ingredients. I love this for the event. You know, it's giving you step by step by step on what to actually do with the event. You know, again, it actually gives you the whole outline again. So set up. You know, you're gonna they're gonna walk in the door and ever, you're gonna have somebody at the door. So if you're with your team, select somebody. Maybe I'm saying, Cindy, you know, we're doing babies a bit. Come go with me, and uh, we're gonna have fun. And I want you to be at the, at the um, front of the door when everybody comes in. You're gonna greet them. You're gonna give them their packets and their paperwork, their pins. Give them a name tag. Cindy's gonna be our greeter, right? And I'm gonna educate Cindy on exactly what to do based on what this says. <laughs> it's really easy, okay? And then so. What we're going to do is, um, and it even says, look at the setup. When on the folder, and I meant to do this tonight to bring you one of my folders that I have pre-set up, but there's the health survey and the nutritional wellness program, which is right here. This is the health survey. If there was one thing you could change about your health today or prevent in the future, what would it be? This goes in the folder that they fill out, and this. These two paperwork goes into a manila folder or a folder. And you can give them out. If you, I put them in the middle of the folder. Give them out. Say, here you go. When you walk in, hey, take a second, fill that out. Have your name tag on. You know, and it's important to have name tags. Because when you're talking to people, you want to call their name out. You know, you want to engage with people. And so, you know, um, just like Mary Lynn. You know, I want to make sure I remember her name. You know, because that's important. She's going to feel special when I can remember her name or me. Right? That's important. You know, it's important when you remember my name. You know, it makes me feel good. So these little things at these events are key. And yet we can fly these events and miss these things and we not be as successful as we would have been if we would remember these small details. Would you guys agree with that? So when they're walking in the door, Cindy's there, she's got a smile on. Do not put somebody at the door. Do not put somebody at the door. That is miserable. And they have to be reminded to smile. You know, hopefully nobody is in your group like that. Nobody in here. I know everybody in here is smile, but it's happened. You, you, I've been to events and somebody's opened the door and you think, oh my gosh, that is the first representation of your business. So you want to put somebody there that's exciting and even if it's got to be you because you're, you know, you're just, you know, by yourself at this point or whatever, you know, happy, open the door. Hey, how are you? Welcome. You know, leave your baggage at the door. You know, and make sure that you're not running in at the same time the guests are because you didn't show up on time to prepare. <laughs> I've been there, right? And you're trying to set up well, the guests are walking in and it feels funny. You know, you want to make sure that when you're, when you've gotten there 30 minutes, 45 minutes early so that you can make sure Cindy knows what she's doing, Mandy knows what she's doing, I know what I'm doing, and we're going to be a well old machine, right? And Cindy knows, okay, Cindy, we, we have, you know, we have five, we, we get excited about that event because people want to have what? Fun? And they know when you're not having fun. <laughs> they know if you're mad or that you're, you know, you're faking, right? That's true. Would you guys agree? Have you been around somebody that's not authentic and you're like, this is no fun? So when you're at these events and I'm putting Cindy at the door, you know, that's her job. To be excited, to be happy, to get the name tags out, to get the folders out. Then she's going to send them into wherever, the next room, where, you know, the presentation's going to be. And then, you know, your small talk, it says for 20 or 30 minutes, right there, step two. Have guests sign registration sheet, hand out name tags. Of course, that was at the door there. Um, and then this 20, 30 minutes, you know, you're going to be um, just kind of mingling. Because remember, we're going to start at 6, but we're really not officially going to start till 6.30. So this is where the relationship building comes in. Maybe you're in the kitchen, or maybe you're small talking. You need to already be prepared so that way when... Brittany comes in the door as a guest, I'm ready to give my attention to Brittany. You guys see that? So now I'm giving all my attention to Brittany, I'm finding out about Brittany, I'm asking questions about Brittany, and I'm building that relationship. And, you know, maybe you might have some small snacks. Do not have, like, a, you know, gourmet meal. Please do not have a buffet for people, because it's not duplicatable. You know, have products that, you know, we do, like, little bars, the TLS bar, 
you know, you can actually have products there that, I mean, um, you know, yeah, products there that we have that you can actually sample out to people or just keep it small. Because again, you want, I want Mandy to want to do what I do. And if I have this big gourmet meal, nobody's going to do that. I definitely would never want to do that. I'd be running from that. So you want to keep the refreshments really light and you want to make sure that it's duplicatable. So, um, again, when you are looking at showtime, right, at 6.30, okay, everybody come on in. You know, Cindy might have been my greeter, but, you know, Mandy is going to take that introduction. I'm like, Mandy, listen, all you're going to do is you're going to welcome your guests for being here tonight, like we said earlier, and then you'll introduce me, okay, and I'll do the rest. So, right away, that's what she does. She welcomes, it says the host, thanks them, um, gives the intro itinerary. You know, and then her two-minute commercial, like we said before, she's going to let them know why she's excited about, you know, them being there that night and the information they're going to hear. Does this, do you guys make sense of this? And then she's going to edify the presenter, or the speaker. So maybe she doesn't know everything about me, so you want to make sure to coach people up on the, the points. You know, I mean, you don't want to go crazy and be like, you know, you have a whole rap sheet of all your amazing stuff, but just some key points that you want to take. I mean, literally one time I go to an event, and um, so the person had listed all their accolades. And it was like, I was like, and they've done this, and they've done this, and they've done all that. I mean, really? I mean, just be to the point because honestly, you're there for them. They're really not there for you, you know, so it's, it's good. Just don't get into that. And I say that because you would not believe people who do that. You know, it's okay, you know, but you got it. So, number four, what is Market America and intro of shop.com? So right here, this is where you can take that link, push play on it. It's going to do a two-minute video of what MarketAmericaShop.com is. Um, again, or you can just take the annual report, and it literally gives the information. And right here, what are we doing with this sheet? We're literally reading. We're doing what's in black, saying what's in blue. So you can actually take the sheet and read off of it. You know, I can talk about, you know, oh, we're based in Greensboro, North Carolina. We have 25 years of success. Um, product brokerage company. So I'm given the information, or again, you can push play. It's really up to you and what you want to do, but you discuss that with the person that you're working with. Step five, guest and product testimonials. So again, now it's, um, she's introduced me, Mandy's introduced me, and now my job is to get up and say, okay, I want to meet all of you. Thank you for coming tonight. And this is where I actually throw in the tickets. I'm like, okay, who wants to have fun? And I always raise my right hand and say, repeat out to me, I promise to have fun. Okay, so then step six on the health survey, 
you know, you are letting them know, listen, here's the health survey we want to give out right here. So you want to ask them, who do they know? You know, who do they know? Like we were kind of working through the names list or whatever in their life. Why? Because at the end, they're going to turn in their health surveys, right? And right away, we help them even develop a names list of people that they might know, that they might want to share us with. So that way we're getting to our people's people, you know, without having to go meet strangers, right? It just makes it so much easier to say, oh my gosh, maybe I see here that you knew someone that had, you know, restless leg syndrome. Wow, you know what, what if we shared this with them? What if I could show you a way for little or no money if you help me with this, that you could actually earn some free product for yourself. And you know what, you can invite some of your friends and family here to do that. That's what we would do at the end with that, um, at this closing table with these health surveys. We literally look at it and we're like, oh my gosh, Mandy, you say you have friends and family that have, you know, respiratory problems or health, um, blo blood sugar problems. I'm using this as a guide to get to her people. Does that make sense? So that way we can help move from A to B to C. That's how you do it with at the closeout check, uh, checkout station, looking at this form because they fill it out. They're telling you who in their, you know, in, in, or in their influence and in their sphere of influence has these problems. And, they're, and that's what you want to do. You want to get to them. Does that make sense, you guys? Okay, so now pushing play. So they filled out the health and wellness survey. All right, guys, you've been filling that out. Make sure to turn this in at our checkout station. We're going to give you some tickets for that. But we're going to go ahead and push play. And at that point, you push play on the 29-minute video. You literally push play. You go sit down. And then maybe Cindy and Quimby are in the kitchen, and they're going to give out the, the products as they get to the product part of the video. And they'll go around with a tray. They'll test the products. So that's what their job is to do. And you just sat down and your team is helping you do the work. Does that make sense? So through the video, they're testing the products. The video ends. All of a sudden, now you're at the end, right? So the video is done and you're on page five and you're literally standing there. And you're like, oh my gosh, okay, so um, you've collected, make sure again, you know, okay, so this is the part where it comes to an end. Right? And so what you want to do is you want to just literally read off of this, you know, and so you want to let them know because the video will actually prompt them on the kits that are there to purchase. And you can say, oh my gosh, isn't that crazy that for $1.56 a day you can take care of your health? How many of you guys would agree you're worth $1.56 a day? You know, and I just say that. But you know what's great is that, you know what, tonight that you have an opportunity to get your hands on these products and we want to teach you a way to do that. You can do that tonight at the checkout station. You can take products home tonight. If Mandy has the products available to take, you can take it home tonight. If not, you can order these products online. They'll be shipped to you. And you can actually get a discount for becoming a preferred customer. We can talk to you about that at the checkout station. Or if you maybe don't have the money right now, but you know that you need this product, what we're going to teach you at the checkout counter is how you can actually be a host or a hostess like uh, Mandy was tonight, and you can actually get these products for free or little or no money. And we want to teach you if you're interested and you really want these products, we want to make sure you get these products in your hand tonight. But either way, we thank you so much for being here tonight. We want to do a couple drawings. We're going to get you back to the checkout station, come back in for our final drawing, and then you guys, it's done. It's over with. Done. But what's nice is, you guys, is that all you've done is read, build a relationship, establish a connection with the people, push play on the video. How hard is that? It's not. But a lot of us overthink this. So, but the problem is, is we don't do it to know how easy it is. Right? But raise your hand if you've been a wellness. I mean, how many guys would agree? It's pretty good stuff when you just do it. Right? And so, I do want to point out, um, you know, at the, at the, you know, close, when you give them the actual, um, product sheets that they can actually purchase from. Do not put that in their folder, okay? Because what's gonna happen is they're gonna get caught up on these prices and they're gonna be like, oh no, I mean, they're already thinking about how they can't afford it. Beside, before they actually are looking at the information to think if they're worth it or not, right? When you can take this away and then just make sure to give this to them at the end, so when you're done watching the video, you just pass out, you've told Cindy or you told Wendy that they're gonna be passing these out at the very end, that's when you pass these out. And then you're looking at them and you're saying, okay, 
take this back to the checkout counter. And I always tell people, listen, if you buy tonight the daily essential kits, you get a cup for free. And everybody's like, I mean, honestly, it's, I can't tell you, you just have to do it. But it's amazing because people are like, oh, wait, I'm going to get the cup for free? Anybody have that happen to them? I mean, it's amazing, right, Beverly? It's like, they don't freak out on a free cup. But you know what? You have to be willing to give to people so that you can actually get something back. I love it. I love to give. And so what you want to do, you guys, is make sure these little key points, take time, read over this, practice it, schedule an event. Make sure that you are trying this whole thing. Sit down, go over, get together with your team, practice it. You know, right away schedule wellness. You know, because you know what? You're going to actually see how good you feel just because you actually did the event. You know, it's going to free up the fear that you actually face because you're thinking more about it than you are actually taking action and doing it, you know? And so I do want to say, too, um, there is this other order form that is there that I actually give out, too, that's also in the printout. Because there's other products that are available for them to work on, like, through the kits. You know, um, Alicia talked about the kits and how we sell selling kits. This actually gives them more kits to think about, like digestive health. So that's why I print these off and give them two of uh, the actual um, options of what they can purchase that night. Um, and then they can know how to pay. This, of course, is um, also given at the checkout station. It's there, available for the person that's at the checkout station to know, like, hey, do you want to pay cash, check, husband under wireless program? Just kidding. But y'all know what that is, a little bit of all of it. Sorry, guys, but we, us girls sometimes have a husband under wireless program. But anyway, and it's lots of note right here that they can actually save 5% um, as a customer on auto ship. And they can change that their mind on any time. So if they did the first night, they wanted to save 5%, but yet they wanted to cancel right away, they can do that too. You know, but putting them on the auto ship is great because, um, and again, they get to check or select if they want it every 30 days, every 45 days, 60 days, 90 days. But you have to be confident to let them know. Say, listen, what happens is I found that all my customers, they get ready, they're running out of the product and they call me up, but because I don't have to stock product, you know, and I might not have it with me, and I know that they literally run out of product and, you know, need it, you know, and so what we like to do is offer our customers the way that they can actually get this sent to them, you know, at your leisure, whether you want it 30, 60, and it gives you the options, and you just ask them, because what's the worst thing they can do? Say no, right? But then at least you give them the option. You know, and a lot of times today, more people are actually appreciative that you give them this option because they run out and they forget, and then all of a sudden, you know, now they really want the product, right? But really, when you run out of the product, you do not want to run out of the product. Just ask Beverly. You know, because what happens is it goes out of their system, and then by the time they get it in, they're already getting those aches and pains again, but the product will really truly stay in their system, and when they're on auto ship, they never have to worry about running out. You know, the one thing uh, I heard one of my customers say the other day is, please do not let me run out of that product. And it was really easy. I said, you know what, let me just one push on auto ship because I might forget, right? And you blame it on you because you might forget it. And really, the truth is, is they're telling you, don't let them run out of the product. So like, hey, you know what, why don't I just put you on a, you know, you pick. Would you want me to send it to you every 30 days, 45 days? It's the same thing. But it's kind of like my personal secretary who just sends it out for me and you're going to pay for it anyway. Right? So just give them the option and you save 5% doing that. So that's really important. The other, the other sheet I want to show you guys is the um, events thing. Oh, this is a really good thing that's also in there. Um, that gives them, this is actually a uh, suggested for wellness. So if they want to have energy or weight loss, it actually gives them the suggested products. It's in your packet. But like if they you know, want more energy, they're going to take aloe, vitamin B, and OPC3, right? So that they're going to make sure that they have that. So if I'm talking to Mandy and she's like, you know, I just really have no energy, this sheet's great because you're like, okay, here you go. Let's look at that. And uh, that's the actual formula you're going to want to take. And it does the calculating for you based on their needs. You know, so that was pre-put together. Um, and Nick, I also know that you know of, um, uh, you know, what is that recommendation that, can we put that on the Leadership Academy page? I think, Nora, you were using it today, too. And it's actually a great sheet done by a doctor. Is it a doctor? Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, okay, so Dr. Cheryl Dutch is actually put together. Like, if you know somebody that has Crohn's disease or you know somebody that has this, and I was thinking about, Teresa, what we were talking about the other day, 
is that maybe they say they have this crazy disease and you don't know what to do, you don't know who to call, nobody's answering their phone. It's a great go-to to have. Print it out. Keep it with you. Because you're going to be talking along the way to people and you're going to know exactly what to recommend them. And it's like a two or three page printout of exactly if they have Crohn's, you're going to move over here and you're going to tell them they need to take A, B, and C. If they have, you know, fibromyalgia, they're going to need to take A, B, and C. You know, it's a great recipe guide for the isotonics products that will help your people really know what to take. So that helps us too because sometimes we just forget or maybe we don't know and being new is a really great tool to have in your tool belt. Okay, so we'll make sure. Nick, could you put that up on? Okay, perfect. Everybody say thanks, Nick. Thanks, Nick. Okay, so um, lifestyle survey. At the closing, you know, what happens is a lot of times uh, this lifestyle survey is really great because you know, maybe maybe you're looking at somebody and they've mentioned throughout the class, or maybe you just thought they'd be great, like Mandy. You know, Mandy, you know what, I really, I think you might be good at this. And I don't know, well, why don't you just take this survey, and you know, let's set up a time for coffee, you know, and let's just see, let's just have you put your eyes on it. I don't know if it'll be for you, maybe it's not for you, but you might know the right people. But then whenever I give Mandy that survey, and I set up a time to meet Mandy for coffee, and what's going to happen is, is I'm going to say, maybe make sure you bring that survey with you. I'm going to look at that survey that she fills out, and I'm going to basically going to talk to Mandy about what we have based on the information she fills out, because we really have something for everybody. And so what's nice is, is that it's a guide as well on how to talk about our business. If you look at it, it says on the first page, what would you change if your life, in your life, if your annual income all of a sudden became your monthly income? Maybe what would you do differently if all of a sudden your annual income became your monthly income? I, I just want to know. Tell me, tell me what would you change? A lot more traveling. Okay, so you'd want to travel more. Okay, so what about you? What would you change? Traveling. Okay, so she wants to travel. Okay, so, so if you could change one thing about your current job, what would you what would you change? Amen. <laughs> right? What about you? What would you change? One thing about your current job, what would you change? Not having one. <laughs> not having one. Right? That's pretty, that's pretty powerful. Not having one. But you know what? Okay. How much extra money per month would make a difference for you right now? That's my... How much extra money would make a difference? Any extra money. So if I could teach you a way to make $300 extra a month, would that excite you? On things you're already doing anyway. Yes. Shopping. Do you shop? Yes. How often do you think you're going to shop? Weekly. Weekly, probably for the rest of your life. Huh? Do you know anyone else shopping? <laughs> yes. If I could show you a way that you can make money off of my shopping and the people that you know shopping, would that interest you? Absolutely. Okay. So do you see how this lifestyle survey is a great guide? Even if you don't do it, take it from the wellness thing, Sam. Even if you don't take it from the wellness, um, it's under here. Sorry. There you go. If you can turn that off for me. You know, then what's great is, is that, listen, she might not want to do this, but at the end of the day, I'm asking the right questions. And this lifestyle survey helps because she's literally filling out the things that she's going to, um, you know, move towards. Right? Not the things that I want her to move towards, but the things she's going to move towards naturally. If she doesn't want to have a boss and she doesn't want to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, then what's great is I can tell her, hey, listen, Mimi, you know what's great is that I teach people all day long how to create a six-figure residual income. And it's really exciting because everyday, or, or everyday average people like me and you are truly being able to transfer their spending to earning and create residual income through that. You know what? And I'd love to share with you. And again, if it's not for you, great. But you know what? Listen, how many lives have been changed for this opportunity? Raise your hand if your life has already been changed. <laughs> but listen, Mandy and Mary, they don't, they don't know what they don't know. Would you agree? Yes. You didn't know what you didn't know. I didn't know what I didn't know. But what I do know is that these little tools, these events, these wellnesses, the motives events, the different things, listen, maybe, like, you know, I've been following up with my gal that came and remember she said, she's why well, I don't wear makeup. Remember, but she knew people who did. Remember her? She's been, she's been, I've been dating her, and you know what? I mean, she's like ready to go. She's like, you know what? Listen, 
I'm looking at partnering with an opportunity that I literally they're teaching me how to save money on the things I'm already doing. What do you think about that? Have you ever heard of that before? And people are like, no, I've never heard of that. You know? So what's crazy is again, we have the cookie. But look around in this room, nobody, nobody knows what, you know, they don't know. And if we're not out there telling them because we're scared, you know, it's okay if they say no. But we have to remember every single week our goal is to get you out of that fear to think about what are you gonna do differently than you did yesterday to be where you want to be tomorrow. That's what you gotta realize. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting a different result. Right? But when you do something different, like all of us in this room and you guys too, you know, I'm excited you're here tonight. Because, you know, take a look at this. The worst thing can happen is you make a little bit of money. The best thing that can happen is you make a lot of money. Right? I mean, and that's the truth. Because even if you're a free customer, then you're actually saving right away free to win the things you're doing anyway. So all these events you guys are um, designed to do is to help you create momentum in your business. And so that's really what we want to do is show you guys how to create that momentum in your business. And so here's your homework. And what we do, maybe in Maryland, we go to, we give you homework just to uh, work through every week so that you sharpen your skills and get educated on how to do this, right? So everybody's going to watch the power profile of Andy Webb. He's amazing. And then you're going to um, go to the UF Media app. So one of the things we do, guys, is we listen to um, a, a, you know, a training our media download that we just listened to um, on different subjects that we talk about. So this week it's going to be on the Isotonics Prime, so the joint support with um, Dr. Mylon Moore, and then Timeless Strategies from the top performers, um, D um, Andy Webb, Jim Winkler, Shu Yang, and David Wyden, the power profile of Tom and Brady Holden. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't actually do the homework, actually, Stacey said this to me. And then Phil this is your homework you want to do. Get on, get a 40 on your weekly checklist. Set a date to host or participate in a wellness in the next two weeks. When you're gonna, when you're getting your date book out, you can go, okay, what works better for you? This week or next? Right? You always are gonna work two weeks out, so it gives people time to prepare. Um, and then you're gonna share five audios with specific members of your team. Uh, revisit your possibility list and add at least 25 prospects to your list. Because remember, think about it. That may sound like a lot, but when we take this sheet, remember? They're all prospects now. Take this. Do this to yourself. Think about who do you need to know that has more energy? Who do you know that wants to lose weight? Start writing down those people that come to your mind. I guarantee you those people that you may have missed because you do this, they come, they're like, oh my gosh, I didn't think about that person. And that is where you can actually really work with this and create a result. The next thing you want to do, the person who sells the most Dollars in digestive health by the next class wins a prize. Now, last week we did what? Sold friction free 3,000, right? Now, if you sold any friction free 3,000 at all last week, so this week stand up and want to see who you are. Did anybody sell any friction free 3,000? Or a write-up, 
How were you before isotonics? What was it that changed your condition? And what are you like now after the implementation of isotonics? And so send a picture with yourself. It's, it's going to be a write-up. Um, if you don't know my email or my phone number, if you want to grab a pen, I'll go ahead and tell you what it is right now. So my email is my name. It's Nick. And then Franovich, F-R-A-N-O-V, as in Victor, I-C-H, followed by three lowercase i's at gmail.com. So Nick Franovich, I-I-I, the third, at gmail.com. And then my phone number is 936-444-8696. It'd be very easy for me just to get on YouTube and download testimonies. I've got whole all books that were sent in. I've got testimonies, libraries of them, but I want your testimonies. I want our group's testimonies because it's personal. And it's what matters, and it's what means the most to me and Dr. Ed and everybody else. So if you guys want an opportunity, I'm going to wait until Friday. If you could get that to me, that would be great. I really appreciate your contribution. Can they do a video? Right. Okay, so if you want to go tonight, give your 60 seconds of success on your isotonic. We can actually get that to him right away in the video testimonial booth. Get back there. Just tell him real quick about your, even Beverly's like, my hair. Don't worry about your hair. He can actually make it into just words. But your test, huh? He'll do it the phone and pick a picture, right? So he can at least get the information, download that, and he can pick a picture if you don't like yourself tonight, when you, you know, when you see yourself on video. But the power of the testimony, that's retelling product, that retells the stories. So make sure that you can do that real quick, just a 60 second video or, you know, to, to tell that so that Nick can get that for Dr. Ed so that he can make sure to share your testimony. So I think that's very um, awesome because he wants to honor us. You know, what doctor is going to, you know, do that for us, but Dr. Ed, right? So, all right, so what we're going to do now is everybody has their tickets, right? So we are going to, Emily, would you like to go? Oh, I'm going to come be my drawer. She's my fun child. She's my, my, my. No, you have to. You have to tell them the first four numbers, and then they, then they do this, and then the last.